and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Forever Vegan Inspo. So glad that you've joined me today in this beautiful set of out here. And while we're out here today, well, like I've said, this channel is about a, an holistic approach to health. So we're looking at physical health, that through our recipes, um, emotional, mental, um, spiritual health. And today I just wanted to look at how we can maintain good emotional and mental health. We've all been going through this pandemic, three months of lockdown, and it impacts people in so many different ways. So what I wanted to do today is to share with you some pointers that can just help to maintain good emotional and mental health. So one of the first things to do is to be out in nature, like today, I've come for a walk in nature, and that's one of the best ways for you to, for, to be feeling better, just surround yourself with God's creation, um, and it is so beautiful, it just does something to calm the mind and the spirit. Also, be physically active. When we're physically active, it actually helps to release serotonin in the brain. And what does serotonin do? It makes you feel happy. And we do want to feel happy in these times. So serotonin is the happy pill, without it being prescribed, of course. <laughs> and then, breathe deeply. As you're exercising, take, take a deep breath, because this helps to oxygenate the brain. And then another pointer is to be grateful. Um, being grateful for what you have is also really important. Having a gratitude journal, just noting down things each day that you're grateful for. Um, and then do something for somebody else. You know, sometimes we are so focused on ourselves that we forget to do up things for other people. And during this pandemic, you know, it, there's so many things we can do. We can visit somebody, we can call them, we can, you know, drop off a food parcel for someone. Whatever you want to do, but just do something for somebody else. Um, and then talk to somebody. If you're feeling down about things, talk to someone. Talk to your family if you can. Talk to friends. Um, and talk to God. God wants us to talk to him. There are so many instances in the Bible where, particularly in Proverbs, um, where it says, a cheerful spirit does good like medicine. Now when you take medicine, what do you want the expected outcome to be? Yeah, you want to feel well after taking the medicine. And if you don't feel well after the medicine, you're not going to take it. And the Bible says, a cheerful spirit does the body good like medicine. So therefore, being cheerful helps us to feel good emotionally, mentally, and physically. So um, having a cheerful spirit really, really does help. So talk to somebody as well about how you're feeling. And sometimes, you know, we feel a little bit embarrassed, a little bit ashamed about the fact that we're feeling down, but you don't need to. It's a natural process of life. Sometimes you feel up, sometimes you feel down. Um, it's about how we deal with it. Um, and some of these things that I've said can help um, and impact our emotional and mental health greatly in a positive way. Um, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, there have been so many people who have gone through hard times, I mean, and come through the other side with a cheerful, positive countenance. I mean, I think of Nelson Mandela, you know, 27 years imprisoned on Robin Island. He could have got himself really depressed and down. He could have not come out of it, the person that he was, but he chose to be positive. He came out of that situation um, a different person. He came out of that situation a stronger person because of it. Um, and this pandemic, which none of us have ever experienced, which is new to all of us, is something that we can come through together with a more positive, more resilient attitude. Um, so I want to encourage you um, just to, you know, look after your emotional well-being, look after your mental well-being, because it really is very important. And I'm just going to share today one simple recipe. You know, sometimes when we're not feeling um, happy, sometimes we resort to food, um, and often it's the food that will help us to put on the pounds. So I want to share a simple recipe that's good for you, um, and yeah, and when you're feeling down, you can turn it to, to it as a sweet treat that um, is good for you. So Today I'm going to be showing you how to be making stuff-coated chocolate dates. We're going to be using dark chocolate, pitted dates, 
peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter, almonds and walnuts. First, we're going to cut our dates and take the seeds out. Then we're going to put in our walnuts. Then we're going to stuff our dates with our almonds. Then finally, a teaspoon of crunchy peanut butter into our dates. Once we've done that, we're going to dip our dates into our melted chocolate and place them on a plate. Then we're going to place them on a plate, put them in the fridge for about an hour or two and then take them out and enjoy. These are full of fibre, they're sweet, they're nutritious and they're a very healthy snack. Thank you for watching today's video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Remember to follow Forever Vegan Inspo on Instagram and if you make anything don't forget to tag me.